Dustin Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of Lubin Ranger vs. Power Ranger episode 33? Yes, 33. So this will be a pretty short review, I think. Hopefully that's not famous last words, because usually you say something like that and it ends up being the longest review ever. But this episode was pretty light. I was looking forward to it because I thought the premise was cool, and I did end up enjoying it. It was a very enjoyable, very watchable episode. It's a weird thing to say, but it was. Um, also, for people who asked last week, that is a like and rock back there. And an Omnimon, you can see it right there. Anyway, um, but yeah, like, I, I did enjoy it, but I was kind of hoping for it to be a little something more. I didn't expect the episode where they got turned into kids to be the plot turnaround twist. That's not what I'm talking about. But I thought maybe it might be a potentially interesting episode for the Pat Rangers. Um, maybe some little more character stuff than I was, like, that I was hoping for, I guess. Because, the you know, since the Lupin Ranger main cast wasn't in it. But I guess to start, I'll say they cast the perfect kids to play the young Lupins because they looked exactly like them. I'm pretty sure they actually just de-aged the cast. That's where all the budget went, so they did that. So, like, that was fun, and basically you had the Pat Rangers taking care of them because I actually thought at the beginning, or at the beginning, at the preview for last week, that they were going to know that it was not the Lupin Rangers, obviously. Like, this isn't going to be the way they get found out. Um, that they were going to know that it was, like, their friends from the diner or they're at a restaurant or whatever, but what ended up being is that they were pretending to be lost kids because um, uh, one of them dropped their changer when they, you know, got turned into kids, so they needed to get it back. And they created this front front, this front premise, fun premise of them trying to get it back. Um, it was really enjoyable to watch. Um, there were some funny bits in it with them pretending, uh, um, calling Tsukasa, like, mom, and she was, like, trying to resist, like, the cuteness of kids. It really played into that part of her personality, and, you know, you got to see them fake hide-and-seek to steal it. And meanwhile, like, Noelle instantly tried to fix it by being like, oh yeah, I'll take this as evidence, and Keichiro was like, come on, side. and he took him on, like, a mission to fight the gangler. But yeah, basically they were fighting the gangler, or finding, and then fighting the gangler, um, and then once they did, the others joined them, they destroyed them. Uh, and it was actually Kogura that assisted with the rangers getting the, uh, the changer back because they got it, but then they were being chased by the Pat Rangers, um, and he dressed up as Kairi and took off with the changer, and then dressed up as basically a Tsukasa lookalike, because they said Tsukasa looked like their mom to pick up the kids, and it was all solved. Um, and, you know, there really wasn't any... I was, like I said, I was hoping for some more little character moments, potentially this being a good chance to shift to the Pat Rangers a little bit, um, and maybe even get the Lubin Rangers to get to know the Pat Rangers on a different level. I, I feel like I was expecting too much out of a fun episode, but I feel like they could have had the fun premise that we got while also doing something a little more, because they're pretty good at, like, character-driven episodes, I think, personally. So, I was a little disappointed in that, but, like, the antics of it were fun to watch, and I feel like this is the first time, definitely the first time they were in their base, and I was trying to remember if this is the first time they've ever interacted with Hilltop. They might have seen him before, or been in the same vicinity. If they have interacted, I feel like it's definitely not significant since I don't remember it. But, but yeah, I think there was some potential there for the Pat Rangers and for the, the two teams together. But it wound up just kind of being a, a fun little episode. Um, and then next week we're actually getting the debut of something, so that should be at least something significant. But yeah, like I said, this is a pretty short review. There's not a whole lot to discuss. I did enjoy it. I'd probably give it a solid 7. Like I said, an enjoyable episode. I was just hoping they would use it for something a little more. But anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell so you get the notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.